Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim in the Sefer Mitzvah HaKotzar. A new mitzvah's loisa say a negative commandment, Mem Gimel number 43. Shum Adam Yisrael. Do not hit any one of your fellow Jews. We learn this out from the verse of Lo Yosef that a person that has transgressed a negative prohibition and they deserve 40 lashes. The halacha, the Torah says, Lo Yosef, you cannot add on any more because it might kill, might bring them to the brink of, of death. And from this verse over here, we learn not only can you not be Yosef, can you not add an extra lash onto the person who deserves it, but you cannot hit another Jew at all. It is a logical deduction. Just like someone who is obligated in lashes anyway. The Torah says he transgressed a negative prohibition, and he was warned and he was caught, and therefore he's going to incur lashes upon himself, and the best in the court is entitled to, to give those to him. The Torah commands, but don't add on. You can't do more than is than is fit according to the Torah law. So that's a logical deduction then to every other person in the world who is not worthy of receiving lashes, who doesn't have dispensation from another person to go and hit them. So then all the more so you can't be mice if you can't even add a single whack or a hit to that person. So you cannot hit another Jew. If you hit somebody in a way that the damages are very minimal and it's not even worth a Shava Pruta, the smallest coin value, like over there the punishment is you're going to get Malchus, you yourself now will get lashes. However, if the wound, the hit that you gave him, produced a larger wound, you gave him a big zetz, a big patch, a big hit. She's and you now have caused him damages that you have to pay him back a pruta, the small coin amount, or even more. Once that you're obligated to pay mamin, you're not going to get malchus because you're not going to get lashes because the halacha is that in a case of monetary obligation where there might also be the obligation of lashes, money trumps the lashes, and therefore you're not going to get the whippings. <speaking in Hebrew> Nevertheless, you transgress the negative prohibition, and HaKadosh Baruch will deal with that in Shemaim. <speaking in Hebrew> Even if you lift up your hand, and you make it look like you're going to hit your friend, Nikri <speaking in Hebrew> Rasha, that person is called a Rasha, a wicked person, as we learn in the Chumash, Moshe Rabbeinu saw one Jew lit, raising his hand to go hit another Jew, and Moshe Rabbeinu called him a Rasha. He called him a wicked person from the very beginning over there. And therefore you see, don't raise your hand, don't hit, don't strike another person. That is a terrible thing in the eyes of Hashem. However, if a father, let's say, will strike his son to teach him a lesson, or the, the Rebbe, the teacher, needs to strike the student in order to get them to learn more, even though that it's not going to go over well in today's world, but in the olden days, when, when it was, you were allowed to do these things. On that, you do not transgress for hitting the kid. So if, there's a, if there is a purpose and a benefit that is seen in the striking of another person, for example, to teach them a lesson and to put them into shape, and to get them to learn better and stay focused, whatever the situation might be, that would be permissible, and you did not transgress. It's when you're coming out of anger, when you're coming to hit another person, where there's no lesson to be taught, simply you know, you're going to strike that person, says the Torah, don't dare do such a thing. Not only that, you can't even raise your hand. If you raise your hand to hit, even if you don't hit, you're already in the category of being called a Russia, a wicked person. Have a wonderful day.